everybody, it's Paige Evans and I have a new process video to share with you today. This is for the mood board girls and I just love the colors that Joka picked. And I am featuring my brand new Easter egg cut file available in the Silhouette store as well as my Etsy shop for those who use Cricut and the Brother Scan and Cut. So I die cut the Easter egg from smooth white cardstock and then carefully peeled it off the mat. Some of the little pieces didn't come out all the way so I had to poke them out with my fingers or a needle and then I applied gesso over the entire thing because I wanted to do some mixed media and gesso is a good base. So I just used a paintbrush and I messily applied the gesso in place. I like how you can see the brush strokes on the egg when it's all said and done and yeah just just get a nice thick layer of gesso on and let it dry and then when I peeled it off I love how it looked on that silhouette matte paper I kind of want to do this again and use this as a stencil right this would be a fun stencil to use and paint through all the shapes which is kind of what I'm doing here I am, let's see, I picked another piece of white cardstock. This is textured white cardstock, and I, sh I could have just used scratch cardstock, but I thought maybe I will end up liking how it looks on white. So I, that's why I went with white. And I am mixing my watercolors. This is a set by Low Cornell that I got on Amazon many years ago. It's well loved, well used, and I highly recommend it. And I'm painting the stripes of shapes in pastel colors. So I'm just mixing the light pinks, light blues, light yellow, light orange, light purple, all the colors that remind me of Easter. And I am painting stripes across the eggs in the stripes of images, right? So the, the row of butterflies, the row of stripes, the row of dots. Sometimes with images like flowers, I would paint the tops of the flowers one color and then the bottom I would paint green to match you know the foliage and how flowers really look. I'm definitely not painting very neatly I'm just kind of going along and applying the watercolor letting it blend together if it wasn't dry all the way and that's okay I like the blended look that's kind of what watercolors are supposed to do so here I go I peeled it off and I love how that background looks and to, well see, the next step is I applied dimensional adhesive to the back of the egg and then I placed it on this colorful striped paper. This is from my Take Me Away collection with Pink Paisley from a couple years ago, paper number four with these colorful stripes and I cut around it. So originally I wasn't going to apply watercolors on top, I was just going to back it with this pattern paper, but then I decided I want all the colors. I want lots and lots and lots and lots of bright colors. So that's why I painted it and I just, I love how it is turning out so far. It's very Eastery, all these pastels. So I picked a couple of pictures from Fox and Jane. This was around Easter time, 2017. In Germany, there's so many pastel buildings all over Bavaria. It just makes my heart so happy, perfect for Easter. Um, in front of this, this was a garage door, a mint green garage door. So I picked my two favorite pictures from this quick little photo shoot. I say, kids, run in front of the door. You know, Fox has an Easter egg in his hand, and Jane's just being her silly self. Uh, so back to what I'm doing, though, in the layout. I am pulling flowers from a lot of my collections, like Take Me Away, Oh My Heart, and Turn the Page. I even pulled one flower from Pick Me Up and clustered them behind the photo just to draw more attention to the photos. And there's a bunny die cut in Turn the Page, so that's perfect for Easter. And now I am trying to figure out how to add more texture to this layout using ribbon. I just have a huge ribbon stash that I've kept and added to over the years, so I'm digging into that. And it kind of takes me a while to figure out how I want to use the ribbon, ribbon across the egg. And I do end up just turning the camera off because it was stressing me out trying to figure out where to put this ribbon. It was going to take me too long to figure out exactly where. But you can see I do eventually just place 
strips of ribbon across the egg, kind of color on color. And I like all the different textures of this rickrack, their satin pico, their scalloped crushed velvet, pom-pom trim. So yeah, it definitely adds some fun texture and interest and even more pops of color, which is what I am all about. Yeah, so here I'm just totally trying to figure out what to do. I can't figure out what to do. Um, so this blue ribbon I thought would look better if it was thinner. So I used my fine tipped pair of scissors from American Crafts and trimmed it in half. So now I've got one scalloped edge with this light blue ribbon and I'm going to use adhesive to apply the ribbons in place knowing that I will go over with my sewing machine to attach them in place permanently. Again, just adding some temporary adhesive and adding the ribbons back in place where I decided I want them. I trimmed this piece of orange ribbon in half and it got all stringy on me, but that's okay. I like that texture of the strings. And this green ribbon, yeah, it's got that all the pastels. Next, I used matching colors of thread, so I did switch my thread colors with every piece of ribbon and stitched them down, and then turned it over and trimmed off the excess ribbon. This pair of scissors is great. Just trims off everything. And moving on after I clean up <laughs> I always like to have a clean desk so I will wipe away all my threads and papers and have a clean desk so I've decided I like having the watercolor peekaboo from behind the egg and just trying to figure out the placement I did use more di dimensional adhesive to attach the egg in place and once again I'm going to trim it over and or turn it over and trim off the excess thought about using the little piece that I trimmed off somewhere on the layout but decided eh, it, I'll just save it maybe for something else I don't know what else I'd use it for but I yeah, decided not to use it I thought there was enough going on already that I didn't need that little piece these are thickers from turn the page they are there's a few pastel colors so I'm going to title my layout Easter 2017 just trying to figure out the placement and then I decided it was too uniform, so I went through all the thickers from all my collections and mixed and match the fonts and colors and styles. Yeah, so here I'm using Take Me Away thickers, Fancy Free thickers, Oh My Heart thickers, Turn the Page thickers, even my brand new Pick Me Up thickers. And there's lots of pastels throughout these alphabet thickers, so you can find Plenty that will match with this Easter springy theme. Uh, I think I chose slightly different ones than what you're seeing me add here, but you get the general idea of what I'm trying to do. It's just mix and match the thickers to get an overall rainbow of color. And that's not the exact placement either. I had to shift things down a little bit so they weren't coming off the page. Going to add a pick me up puffy sticker underneath the rabbit and then I trimmed a piece of this pattern paper from pick me up and I love how it kind of looks like Easter eggs so I put a piece of that across the bottom of the layout to ground it and now I'm punching this lace border this is a Martha Stewart crafts border punch from smooth white cardstock again cleaning up my mess <laughs> and then I will trim it down I love how the lace kind of echoes all the detail from the egg die cut and it's just another layer of texture and interest behind that faux Easter egg paper at the bottom. I machine stitched through the chipboard title, chipboard thicker title. And then the last step is writing my journaling with a pencil around the edge of the egg. I used a pencil. I thought a black pen would stand out too much. Uh, the pencil might, might get smudged, so I'll probably go over it with a gray pen. But at this point, I just left it as is. So I hope you are inspired by the mood board girls. Go check out the hashtag and thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon.